Pat sends Mike to the lumber yard. Mike says to the guy, I need 22 by fours. The guy says, how long do you need them? So we need them a long time. We're building a garage. There's nobody working here. I don't know where the, it should, I think it's 1200 block. I, you know, sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It should be, wow, I hardly recognize the place and I did the work. Let's go inside and see all the changes we've made here. We took an old home and we've made it very modern. I don't know if you recall the old kitchen, but look what we've done here. We've turned this into a modern, functional space. And throughout the building, we've created a lot more closet space. This is just really wonderful. Imelda Marcos would be jealous. And we've expanded and modernized all the bathrooms. I'm gonna give this a test drive. I'll be right back. Whew. Nothing to see here, folks. Let's move it along, move it along. I love these hardwood floors. And I really think this second floor is the gem. We've really opened up this space. It's just beautiful.
And here's our finished flex space, which can be used as an office, a den, or an extra bedroom. And now the residents can enjoy a three season porch. I still have a sag in the middle, but the garage doesn't anymore. And the bonus for this project is the tailgate room in the basement. Well, my job is finished here. And that's how the Reverend Hugh Jorgen turns a piece of crap into a beautiful two flat. I want to thank Norm and the rest of the Hugh crew because they couldn't have done it without me. Watch for my next project where I convert a church into a brothel, which is right up my alley because I'm the Reverend Hugh Jorgen, the house doctor, and you're not. That's a masterpiece.